Are there too many thoughts bouncing around your head? And is that monkey mind of yours getting in the way of creativity and inspiration? What if I told you you could address it with three pages? Today, I'm here to tell you about the transformative daily habit of morning pages and how a messy process can take us to the other side of our confusion, our fears, our moods. What are morning pages? Morning pages are one out of two main tools for creativity from the course, The Artist's Way. It's a form of journaling in which you sit down each morning to write three pages of longhand stream of consciousness thoughts. It's very simple. You grab paper and a pen and you sit down before you do anything else that day, before your mind gets too engaged with stimulus from the outside and while it's still refreshed from a night of sleep. The reason that we want to put our thoughts onto paper is because they are in our conscious or subconscious mind, standing between ourselves and our creativity. And once they're out of the way, we will get clarity. Julia Cameron puts it this way, nothing is too petty, too silly, too stupid, or too weird to be included. Are you worried about the state of the world right now? Write it down. Are you obsessing over the Eras tour? Write it down. Unsure of the next step of your relationship? Write it down. Sometimes morning pages make no sense at all. Sometimes they capture deep, beautiful feelings. Sometimes they are angry letters to the universe or your mom. Sometimes they are a long list of to-dos that make you feel like actually sitting down to write your pages is keeping you from accomplishing what you need to accomplish that day. Mine look like a conversation. I ask questions, I debate myself, I dump my worries and my fears. Most importantly, I ask for help. And much to my surprise, and the main reason that I wanted to talk about morning pages today, is that answers do end up coming through for me. I keep writing and I eventually know what to do next. I keep writing and I feel what I need to feel so that I'm at a place where I can move on. Morning pages may feel like meditation. It's a place where we go to get rid of our logic brain and to feel more intuitive, to unblock whatever is going on up here. It allows you to uncover insights. Sometimes it feels a little bit like therapy when it helps us identify patterns and start to change them. When it helps us trust the process and commit to it long-term. When it helps us get deeper. Morning pages are not meant to be art. It's not the time when you sit down to write your short story or your social media post. Have I ever written a creative brief, which is what I do on my day job, in my morning pages? The answer is absolutely. And that's because those were the thoughts that were in my head begging to be let out. And once they were captured on a page, I moved on and followed my thoughts to where they went, knowing that I would revisit those words later that day. What do I write about? You write about whatever's on your mind. That doesn't give you much instruction, does it? But it's a good thing. It's your time to look inward and see what's going on. Nobody is allowed to read them except for you. And the book recommends that you don't even read them for the first eight weeks. Just keep writing. Some mornings, it may feel like you have nothing to write, but believe me, you do. Start by writing. I don't have anything to write about this morning. I'm tired, this is crap, this is not working for me. Whatever comes to mind. And keep writing. Those intrusive thoughts will eventually get out of the way and you will get to the ones that actually need to come out. I know. This sounds a little out there, or at least it did to me when I first heard of the practice. I thought, are you actually asking me to sit down early in the morning and just write about how I have nothing to write about? What a huge waste of time. But I promise you, it might take a couple of paragraphs, a couple of days, even a couple of weeks, but you will have stuff to write about. You will overcome your resistance. And as you can imagine, once you do, there's gonna be a lot to come from under it. You will find that some sessions will go extremely smoothly. Your hands won't wanna stop writing and you'll feel like you could go for many, many more pages. And some mornings, it may take a little while to get started. Maybe you didn't get a good night of sleep. Maybe something is bothering you. Maybe you're feeling anxious about the day that's starting, but just keep going. Once you do it consistently, you start to crave having that moment for yourself. Your mind is clearer to get your day started and your projects going. In fact, 
Clarity is exactly the right word to describe what comes out of morning pages. They help you get clarity over what's going on in your life. They put a spotlight over what's keeping your mind distracted or occupied. You work through decisions that you have to make. You get in touch with your feelings. Oh, your feelings. They come out rushing. And the personal growth that comes from it is absolutely incredible. Believe me, after day after day after day of writing about the same problems without taking action, after pages and pages of complaining, of playing the victim, of procrastinating, you see exactly where in your life needs attention and what needs changing. I even remember writing at some point, I can't believe I'm here in yet another morning writing about the same thing all over again. It's so frustrating that you won't be able to ignore it and you won't want to. Morning pages will help you get to know yourself better. You're gonna come across beliefs that you didn't even know were there. And once you have that information, you can do something about it. With that information, you may even experience some breakthroughs in your personal growth journey. The exercise will allow you to observe your monkey mind, how much our thoughts jump from topic to topic. And in good old fashioned meditation logic, we learn to identify less with our thoughts. Another benefit of this practice is that we learn to do the work whether or not we feel like it. With creativity, people often feel like they need to be hit by inspiration in order to start, but that's not usually the case. When you have a process, you train yourself to get to a space where ideas start to form, even if you didn't feel that great before. And morning pages have this wonderful way of turning things around, of making you feel more inspired, especially when you do it day after day. How long does it take? Well, that depends on the size of your pages and your handwriting. For me, it takes 40, 45 minutes, a little bit more if I'm trying to make my handwriting pretty. It is a big time commitment of your day. And often I find myself wanting to stop at page two, but for me at least the magic happens on page three. So I always try to keep myself going. If you worry that people might read them, well, I did too, and I still kind of do to be honest. My best friend has clear instructions that if anything were to ever happen to me, she is in charge of destroying them. <laughs> and that sounds extreme, but you know, like those are your innermost thoughts. Those are things that maybe you didn't even think about, you didn't even process, or things that you don't actually feel, that they're just up there happening in your mind and you write them down. Some of what comes up, you don't even believe in, but you need to get it down in order to begin to understand it. So assess your living situation and make plans for how you want to keep them private if that's something that is important to you. If you need to destroy them, go ahead, because reading them back isn't the main benefit of the practice. Actually sitting down to write them is. Is it always pleasant? No, it's not. Sometimes you confront things that you'd rather keep buried. Sometimes your mind goes to places that are painful. Sometimes we sob at 6 a.m before we even had our breakfast. And there are also days that we feel bored by the exercise, but the process of it is incredibly rewarding. Here are some tips to make morning pages work for you. First, make a ritual for yourself. For example, I wake up, wash my face, brush my teeth. Sometimes when I'm feeling fancy or a little bit sleepy, I make myself an old cappuccino to sip on as I write. I refill my water bottle and have it with me. Most days I put on a mantra or instrumental music to set the tone. You might find that you prefer silence. And if I'm lucky, one of my cats will come to make me company. And yes, sometimes they do sit on the notebook for the cutest interruption around. Some days, usually on the weekend, I write my pages from a park or a coffee shop. But most days I sit at my desk. The best place to be is one where you won't easily be interrupted. And yes, that can be challenging if you have kids, but if you live with a partner or with roommates, maybe let them know that you would love to remain focused while you write and you will be ready to chat as soon as you're done. I don't check my phone before I sit down to write. I prefer to have a clear mind for the exercise and to avoid letting outside world information dictate how that day's pages are gonna go. Give yourself grace. 
there's usually a lot that we want to get done or to accomplish at any particular day. We want to get exercise in, we want to eat nutritiously, we want to do an incredible job at work, or even just catch up with what wasn't done last night and needs to be done before you clock in for the day. We want to dedicate time to our personal projects, connect with friends and family. We also want to rest. And sometimes morning pages can't happen in the morning. But instead of not doing them at all, I give myself grace to do them in the evening sometimes. It does feel a little different when my brain is all wired and going already, but I still get many of the benefits from it. And do stay consistent with the practice. Morning pages are incredibly, incredibly helpful. I personally started seeing benefits around week three, when I felt more connected, when it was easier to get into the flow, when I started to crave that time with my notebook. And I always try to keep some sort of journaling practice going, but when life starts to go off track, I know exactly where to go back to, and that is morning pages. If you're here, we have something in common which is the fact that we're both interested in finding new ways to grow and evolve. We want to get to know ourselves better and with that information, live lives that are more fulfilled and aligned. And that's why I couldn't wait to tell you about Morning Pages. They've had a huge impact in changing my life lately. And in fact, out of every habit that I picked up over the last couple of years, Morning Pages were one of the most transformative yet, with the other one being walking, which we'll get into some other time. And if you feel like giving them a try, let me know in the comments. I hope that they are as helpful to you as they have been to me. And if you've enjoyed this video, stick around so we can continue to work on ourselves together.